When it comes to learning about space in the modern day, NASA is at the forefront of solving many of space's most challenging mysteries. Over the years, there have been hundreds of discoveries made by NASA's talented team of scientists and researchers. Just recently, on June 26, 2021, NASA researchers solved the 40-year-old mystery on Jupiter's X-ray auroras. This was a big deal, considering the world had spent nearly half a century looking to answer the question. Back in 1979, when the Voyager 1 space probe first discovered Jupiter's auroras, researchers and astronomers had no clue how they worked. Today, however, it was relatively simple for NASA researchers to solve the mystery. According to the agency, all that was needed was a combination of data from NASA's Juno mission and the European Space Agency's XMM Newton spacecraft. Following the discovery, NASA had this to say about these X-ray phenomena. Quote, it was not immediately clear how the energy required to produce Jupiter's X-ray auroras was generated. Until now, scientists had no idea how the ions responsible for the X-ray light are able to get to the atmosphere in the first place. Well, mystery solved. This question, which had been plaguing NASA scientists investigating Jupiter's phenomena for over 40 years, was solved with an in-depth comparison of the data between Juno and an ESA space observatory. From the presented data, NASA scientists were able to conclude that Jupiter's X-ray auroras were caused by ions surfing electromagnetic waves down into Jupiter's atmosphere. These waves helped push ions through Jupiter's magnetic field, letting the particles react with the planet's gaseous self. The fact that NASA solved the mystery of Jupiter and its X-ray auroras is an amazing accomplishment. Jupiter has been one of the least understood yet most investigated planets in our solar system. Sure, it isn't very difficult to earn that title with just eight planets in our entire solar system. Nonetheless, there have been many mysteries surrounding Jupiter that have plagued researchers for years. Even with six spacecraft having been launched to explore Jupiter within the last 50 years, there's still so little we know about the gas giant. Of course, we have some major unanswered questions still left to answer, such as what is Jupiter's core? How was Jupiter's core formed? What is Jupiter's atmosphere like? And much more. We've collectively tried to answer these questions for years. Although the latest and greatest Jupiter orbital, NASA's Juno spacecraft, is likely the best chance yet, already this little craft has managed to solve some more Jupiter-centric questions with four years left in its expected mission length. For reference, the probe launched in 2011 with an original completion date in July 2021 before an extension to 2025. Even though this discovery was little in comparison to some of the more mainstream NASA solutions, little answers here and there can build our understanding of something. After all, that wasn't NASA's only small discovery on Jupiter. Throughout the last few years of the Juno mission, the agency has pumped out solutions to mysteries left and right. Take the simple but unanswered mystery as to whether or not Jupiter has water. The 1995 Galileo spacecraft had dropped a probe into Jupiter's atmosphere to make theories finite. The issue was that the probe came up empty, so NASA went off the evidence and assumed that Jupiter was, at least at that location, pretty dry. However, thanks to a 2017 image from Juno, the answer was later confirmed to be a surprising yes. Contrary to the Galileo probe, Juno had not only discovered water on the gas giant, but an excess of it. Near the planet's equator, a massive supply of water was discovered, with estimates placing total water supplies at 0.25% of Jupiter's atmosphere. This water is found in the cloud tops of Jupiter in the form of water vapor. With that little answer, a then 22-year-old mystery of whether Jupiter had water came to a rest. Another conclusion arrived in a similar pattern, with another 2017 discovery. This had yet another simple question. What did Jupiter's belts look like the closer you get to the planet's surface? The Juno space probe had yet another answer. In May 2017, Juno approached the belts nearest to Jupiter's equator. In a turn of events, the probe discovered that the belts and their zones penetrated far into Jupiter's atmosphere as strange shape-shifting structures. This new knowledge was yet another breakthrough in our understanding of Jupiter. That same month, as Juno approached Jupiter's equators in its greatest exposure to the planet's atmosphere and gravity, another mystery was put to rest. However, compared to viewing Jupiter's belts from up close, this one was a bit more integral to our understanding of planets. 
with the answer potentially affecting future manned missions to different planet surfaces, Juno was sent to measure Jupiter's immense magnetic field. In yet another turn of events, Juno recorded magnetometer readings of a caliber much stronger and more unique than expected. NASA and the Earth scientists as a whole had expected an equatorial magnetic induction reading of about 5 to 6 Gauss, or 10 to 12 times stronger than the Earth's 0.5 Gauss. In reality, Juno's investigation had results of 7.766 Gauss, a surprising 15.5 times the Earth's average magnetic flux density, and over 10 times its highest. While that was surprising enough, NASA also had a look into how Jupiter's magnetic field was arranged. As it would turn out, Jupiter is home to a very strong northern hemisphere, weak southern hemisphere, and magnetic return points in its south pole and equator. With that little tidbit of knowledge, NASA put another unsolved question to rest, while raising a continuation of Jupiter's longest-running mystery, what's in its core? The reason Jupiter's core is such a mystery is in large part due to the planet's atmosphere and size. With clouds nearly 50 kilometers thick, a 21,000 kilometer thick layer of hydrogen and helium, which fluctuated between phases of matter, and a surface pressure of up to six times the Earth's, it's nearly impossible for any actual core exploration. With that in mind, you may be asking yourself, what does that have to do with Jupiter's magnetic field? Well, as it turns out, the answer is a lot. Earth's magnetic field is thought to have been created from the interaction between our planet's liquid outer core and inner core separating movements. The resulting conduction from the two rubbing together results in our dipolar, or two-pole, magnetic field. Jupiter's magnetic field, remember, is weird. It's stronger on the northern hemisphere, returns to the southern hemisphere and the equator, and is super variable and oftentimes powerful. As most of you likely know, one of the most critical aspects of an otherworldly venture would be finding protection from the sun's dangerous radiation. If we can learn about Jupiter's core or cores, determine what causes its lopsided and incredibly unique magnetic field, and apply that information to future interplanetary questions, NASA and the world could come to some astounding answers. Still, we're going to have to wait for NASA to solve this latest mystery. They've picked up pretty quickly on some of the more recent expeditions, having even created a Top 10 Juno Discoveries page on their official website. Nonetheless, it might still take nearly half a century for a new solution to appear. Speaking of which, what do you all think? With NASA's ramp up on solving Jupiter's and other planets' mysteries, can they finally put one of the most important to rest? Or do you think the relatively recent introduction of a double core theory might add a few mission lengths to the answer? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on new space discoveries.